Hello, good morning everybody, good morning. All right, we'll get started. Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. we do Fast Track. Uh, we want to get you through Fast Track. Uh, Monday through Friday, take the test, pass the test, and earn the Fast Track badge. I've lost over 100 pounds with that information in Fast Track. Millions of pounds have been lost with Fast Track, millions. And uh, we just give honor and glory to the Most High for taking that tool and using it in the hearts and lives of people and helping them be successful. Um, we do that as a gift, Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. All comers are welcome. We are in lesson four. Lesson four, uh, normally I have a few more tools at my disposal, but lesson four, uh, we start looking at the combination of lesson two and three your Shibola shield and your food categories. And we start talking about uh, combining foods the right way and, and how that's gonna look. Now tomorrow, I uh, will summarize everything and help folks earn their fast track badge that haven't earned it. Um, that's what we'll do tomorrow at 10 a.m. But today we're gonna try to bring the information home uh, and a little bit of a summary too of, of, of what we've looked at. now. Great resources to go through the fast track is just showing up for the class. If you want, if you have a ready, willing, uh, and able uh, body, mind, soul, spirit, then uh, you can lose weight with nothing but these classes that we teach. We're not giving you a diet, we're educating you. Diets don't work. The first three letters of the word diet spell die. Anything we start with and can't stay with forever is a waste of our time. Uh, the best way to learn the program is to become a member. It's almost ridiculous. It's ridiculous that it's that in, inexpensive. It's thousands of dollars of value. Nobody else would do it. We're not bragging because God's the one that had us do it. Uh, it's uh, worth thousands of dollars, and you get it for peanuts. Uh, again, it does take a ready, willing, and able heart and a desire not to discount it because it's almost free. Okay, if you want, if you don't want the website resources, again, just keep taking notes and we'll keep helping you. Um, we'll go into 1030. We'll do the Shibola journey. That, that's for members only. You also have the book. The program is written out in a book. Uh, in, inside the lids of this are the basics of the program and probably more than 100 meal ideas. I need to count them. There's a, probably more than 100 great meal ideas that can help anyone with the, with that willing heart lose weight. So if you prefer a book over the website, you got a book or get them both, okay? Uh, every purchase you make helps support what we believe is a life-saving mission. Uh, it's been hard, it's been a rough 20 years, but it's been very uh, rewarding and satisfying. Um, um, it's been very rewarding and satisfying. Many sacrifices have been made to take this program and give it to the hearts and minds of people and let them do what they will. And we appreciate all those sacrifices that have been made so that lives can be changed. Most comprehensive weight loss program on the market. Lesson four, uh, we talked about the Shibola Shield. I can't ask questions because there's a delay. Like in Zoom, we try to get some engagement, but um, I'll just have to go through the, the material as God gives me utterance to go through it today. Uh, do, you, do tune in and watch those fast track videos. Um, but here I'm just gonna support. I'll be looking for your questions. If you have questions, I'll try to answer them. There'll just be a little delay, but I'll try to keep a look, see at the thread and, and make sure I'm answering your questions, supporting your journey. So the Shibola Shield, after two perfect days of following the Shibola Shield, you do have to follow it perfectly. Um, perfect in the Bible means be mature. It just means to be mature, to be sober. And I don't know about you, but I wasn't for years. Food was my uh, coping mechanism. Uh, and I had to learn that food is only a solution for a hungry body. And I'm not talking about mental and emotional hunger, but literal physical hunger. Food is not a solution until to cope with boredom, stress, anxiety, those types of things. And we have to realize that we have to learn that. And uh, we've got a lifestyle that if you'll follow it, if you'll, if you'll not, don't straddle the fence, don't be lukewarm, because then we won't be controlling those insulin levels. That's the key. 
from a physiological standpoint, you must control huh, huh, that fat bus. The fat bus is as the fat bus does. And when there's uh, high levels of the fat bus running through your bloodstream, appetite goes through the roof, fat storage takes place very efficiently, and fat burning stops for up to two days. So everything we're talking about from a physiological standpoint is to control those insulin levels. Uh, it's not complicated, it just sounds complicated. If you follow the system, you'll be controlling the fat bus. So our Cibola Shield, uh, this was uh, inspired by the, the spiritual armor that our Bible speaks about. We've got to come back to the Father if we want to lose weight and keep it off. The devil loves us to lose weight and relapse. He loves us to get really down on ourselves and do the rug pull. Uh, we, we need uh, a lifestyle, and, and you can't be lukewarm about it. You've got to be on fire. And, and on fire is having perfect days or holidays. Holidays, you're on fire. Those holidays or holla meals, uh, as we call them, yes, uh, if you so much as lick the cheese dust off a dirty Dorito, that's a holla meal or a holiday. If you hog trough it all day, that's a big old bad holiday. Even a little holla meal is still a holiday. We have only two types of days. Such an easy way to live your life. It's empowering because you can get control. Thursday's either going to be a perfect day or it's going to be a holiday. One or the other. There's no in between. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. By doing this, you'll keep those insulin levels uh, relegated to, to a level where you can efficiently lose body fat when you're in a calorie deficit. So we're looking at our armor, well, how do we have this perfect day and how can we be assured that we're having it? We drink our water. That's the first component. You have to drink a half a gallon up to a gallon of water a day. Uh, it's non-negotiable. Uh, we do have people that won't drink water and we, we love to tease them and call them sugar britches, but uh, you can um, replace your water if you just won't drink water. I think that's being soft on us, but you because you can drink it. You're made of water, and you need it, water in, fat out. But if you won't drink plain water, you can do Crystal Light or Splash H2O. Uh, that's from the wellness company. You pick it. You can do the less clean Crystal Light, or you can do the more clean splash H2O, uh, half a gallon up to a gallon of water a day. Then we have um, our component that is the journal component. We've got a great challenge going on right now, the journal challenge, and it's been amazing. People are losing a lot of body fat doing that, just journaling. Some are doing a game within the game. You know, there we've got a fun challenge going on that's kind of like a modified version of bingo. Uh, but it's Jesus is Lord, not B-I-N-G-O. So we're having fun with that. People are working harder to complete that phrase. And uh, <clears throat> they're getting some really profound results. We've got folks that's lost well over 14 pounds in 14 days. Proud of those folks. If you bite it, you ride it. Just trust me. If you don't journal, you might still lose weight. But you'll end up putting the weight back on when you pull away from live class. So you need a journal, make it a lifelong habit like many of us have and you'll see the results. Everything will change. Then you have to eat in the right food combinations or an approved recipe or an approved item that is in our library. There's thousands of foods in the library. You'll learn how to combine foods for yourself, <clears throat> but you'll also wanna follow our insulin control formulas, fat bus control formulas, um, on, on items that aren't whole food items. We have to control insulin. If you don't, it's not like your blood sugar. When you spike insulin because you spike blood sugar, blood sugar comes down rapidly, but insulin levels don't. They taper off slowly. And if you're always just doing a little something wrong, just a little, you keep you already spiked them, now they're trying to come down and you keep bumping them, you keep bumping them, you keep bumping them. That's the problem. Hear me, that's the problem from a physiological standpoint. Perfect days, holidays solves that problem. I can't believe more people haven't uh, in the industry haven't picked up on that. In fact, the only programs that do, they got it from this program. So um, pretty amazing stuff. 
You, you want to have perfect days, holidays, okay? One or the other. If you so much as lick the cheese dust off a Dorito, that's a holiday. You have to eat in that right food combination or eat an approved recipe. You have recipes you want converted, make them work. Bring them till we fixed it on Saturday. We do that for you. Uh, then you have your portion component. No less important than combinations. You have to moderate your eating. When you're eating more nutrient-dense foods, it's easier to moderate your eating. Uh, we're eating more whole foods, and uh, we're staying away. We're avoiding so much processed sugar and starch that, that provoke the fat bus, which provokes appetite. It all works together synergistically. Uh, so with portions, we, we honor the Lord with our rations. We eat breakfast for the Father, lunch for the Son, dinner for the Holy Spirit, or less. Well, Travis, that's not Bible. Yeah, it is. He says, whatever you do, whether you eat, whether you drink, whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. You need to take care of that temple. We don't want to eat more than that. You don't even need that many times. You don't need them eat three times, but we're allowed to and still have a perfect day. Now, there are exceptions to that. You can have a fourth and even freebies if you absolutely need them. You're having that tough day and you need a fourth eating episode, maybe an approved snack. Then you just want to eat the house down because you've had a stressful day and you don't feel like going to Jesus who could fix it. Then you've got freebies. you got freebies that you can graze on. If you do that, that grazing habit will turn into you going back to Doritos. So use it, use that, that tool sparingly. Try to stay with three or less eating episodes per day. You can have two approved snacks and an approved meal. You can have three approved meals. You can have two approved meals and one approved snack. But three or less eating episodes per day will fix your case. Then you have your timing rule. We want to have a 12 up to 16 hour fast per day. Um, we start with 12, including sleep, because that's easy. That's, tr that's putting the training wheels on. And then later we wanna to move towards a 16 hour fast and only an eight hour eating window. You'll also see that you don't need as much food. You'll probably go to two eating episodes a day with an eight hour eating window, even though you can have three. Um, at 12 hours, you're, give, you're getting some recovery to the, to the human body. You can't digest food all the time. It's terrible for you. Uh, but at 16 hours, you turn on what is called autophagy. And when you turn on autophagy, um, you're clearing away toxins from the cells. Beautiful thing. So we want to work toward that. You don't have to do it every day. If you just incorporate, if you just salt your week, with a three 16 hour fast, you're gr gonna greatly improve your health, promise you. Next, um, we want the final component, the most important component. We wanna bless the name of the Lord. We, we, wanna, we wanna engage with our morning prayer. We wanna engage with our evening prayer. We want to be reminded to subdue the flesh and we want to be reminded to live unto God, we want to be reminded of all of our blessings. I got up this morning, obviously, or I wouldn't be in this group doing this. I woke up again to another mess, right? But I'm not down. I'm not, I'm not upset. I know God orders all things. Um, God, God does what God does, and you can't stop God. He is the life. And he's there with me. He's a present God. He's nowhere absent. It is the will of God that I didn't have text. It is the will of God that I did not have Zoom today. There's some reason. So I don't want to focus on the problems I have today. I want to focus on all the many benefits of being a, a, a child of God. Did you know I woke up with my sight today? I woke up with my voice, and that's how I make my living. I woke up with my hearing there are many people that don't have that. We need to carry that over into how we eat. We need to carry that into our, our foods, how we eat. Are we grateful? You know, we, we should be careful not to speak into the universe, I'm starving to death. Thinking it's bad enough because you'll think that's your thought. It's not your thought. It's from the enemy. And if you speak it, you've now touched and agreed and worshiped the enemy. There is nobody in this group starving to death, but that's one of the most used phrases 
in all of the diet world, especially in this group. I'm starving. You're not starving. Let's be grateful. Be, be grateful. If we have one meal a day that we can budget for, if we have the money to buy one meal a day, we're a blessed people. And just coming back to the Father, attitude of gratitude, that is our sixth component is to have an attitude of gratitude and always in all things, no matter how hard it is, faith it until you make it and bless the name of the Lord. All right, that's our lesson for today. Make sure that you go and watch the fast track videos, take the test, pass the test, earn the badge. I wonder before I go to the journey session, if there's any questions here, anybody got any questions? We'll take just a minute. If you're tuning in late at the beginning of this video, you will hear why I'm here and not in the Zoom room or uh, and didn't text. Any questions? Everybody good? There is a little bit of a delay after you post your question since we're not in Zoom room. I'd feel a lot better if somebody got something out of this since I didn't have my normal tools with me. Any questions or comments? <clears throat> we'll give it a little longer, a little more awkward silence than usual, just because there's a delay from the time you post to me seeing it and being able to respond. Any comments, questions, comments? Hey, Denise, looking forward to our classes regardless of the platform. Thank you, Denise. I've been telling people for 20 years, as long as I can uh, run somewhere and get enough signal on a phone, I can at least connect my heart to other hearts, tools or no tools. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Really appreciate that. I'm just really sorry I, I'm doing the best I can. So if I've let anybody down, I just seek your forgiveness. Um, I just don't have it. Text thing, I, I, we paid for that. We made the payment, but they won't let us use it. They're investigating whether I have uh, the right to teach my program or not. If I'm freezing, it, I don't know if it's your internet or my internet, I do have a very weak signal right now. That's why we need needed, felt that we needed our tools and God has said we didn't and we honor that. We're gonna do what we can. Anybody else? Thank you, Brother Will, appreciate it. I'm with y'all. I, I will be with one million people or one person. Appreciate all you do for the program, Will. We have some great partners, and the partners have not let us down. We do need more partners. That's uh, We need more partners to help us with it. Yay, I'm glad, Penny. Awesome. Thank y'all for helping direct people over here. Appreciate that. Um, I'm going to, I'm running out of juice on the phone. Um, I'm going to plug this sucker in. Then I'll come right back with the journey. Everybody good? Hearts and minds clear. All right, thank you, everybody. I'm going to close out in prayer, and then I'll be right back. We'll go into the Members Only Journey session. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you uh, humbled this morning. Thankful, God, for all that you do, all that you are in our lives. Um, Father, we just come to you praising you worshiping you we're thankful for your never-ending mercy your bountiful grace your provision we thank you for what you're doing you're up to something 
And the unkeen eye would look and say, it's over. Uh, but the faithful heart feels a hint of rain. Beautiful summer showers headed our way. Glorious rain. No lightning, no thunder, just beautiful rain falling from the sky. Almost like the anointing. Wetting us from the top of our head down to the bottom of our feet. Father, you take us all through prunings at times. You have a beautiful way of letting us see what's important and what's not. And we're so thankful for that, God. Lord, many of us are here because we use food as a coping mechanism for our various pains, for all kinds of different things. When we know in our hearts that we should have come to you, we should have fellowshiped with you, you would have been our coping mechanism. You said, come unto you all that labor and are heavy laden, and you will give them rest. So we can find rest only in you. Everything else that gives us a moment of rest is just instant gratification, and it's fleeting. It'll burn up in the, in the fire. But the lasting things are those things that we find when we come to you, when we get drops of wisdom and uh, we, we get uh, renewed vigor for whatever it is you've called us to do. You're just a blessing to us, Lord. Uh, this morning in the devotion, um, I cried out to you like many of the children here did. And I said, I've been forsaken, but I deserve it. And you spoke to me and spoke to my heart like you do many of the children here. And you said, you've never been forsaken. You don't know what forsaken is. Our dear heavenly everlasting father, our elder brother, our wonderful counselor, our great physician was truly forsaken. And that thought brought me to my knees this morning, God, and I thank you for that because I forsook Christ. I forsook him with my mouth. I forsook him with my life. And um, when I cried mercy, you took me back into the fold, despite me forsaking you. And uh, I'm just so blessed, God. Blessed to have a wonderful family, a wonderful Shibboleth membership. Um, just I just love you, Lord. Uh, you're with me. You're with them. You'll go with us all to the end. I know there's people here that are struggling, God. They're struggling with food addiction. And uh, I just pray, God, that in their season, when they're ready, when they're ready to let the pride go, uh, to let the resistance go, to humble themselves, that you will overshadow them with your Holy Ghost and give them that personal power and that internal discipline to finally do this, to lose the weight, to keep it off forever, God, to extend their life. For all of us to have our lives extended, we have to be like old Hezekiah, and we have to hear that life is over unless we turn back towards you. Hezekiah turned back to the wall and put his focus on you and you extended his life. And I know you'll do that for me and you'll do that for the children here. Forgive me for my lack of articulation ability with my prayers. I know that you know what things we all really need. But we do. We just praise you, Lord. We praise you. We praise your holy name. Thank you for all that you are and do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, y'all. We'll be right back. See you in just a few.